All right, so we're taking a look at number 13 here. Uh, we're multiplying uh, all these terms together. And when we're multiplying, uh, the thing we want to be aware of, of course, I'll do this down over here, is when we multiply negatives with positives. So let's say, for example, I multiply a negative times a negative. The answer to that, a negative times a negative, will be positive. Let's say I multiply a positive times a negative, my answer will be negative. So I use this triangle to help me figure out if I multiply a positive and a negative or a positive and a positive together, what do I get? So we'll just keep that over there for reference. All right, so uh, what I do here, I look at it, I see fractions. Now remember, with fractions, you can reduce now by cross-reducing. Uh, you go diagonally to cross-reduce. Or you can multiply straight across and then reduce later. We'll do both methods together, but let's take a look at the way where we cross-reduce, um, but what's reduced now, and then we'll multiply it afterwards. So let's reduce right now. So I'm looking at 6 and negative 12. I know that 6 goes in the 12 two times. So I cross out 6, put 1, cross out 12, and put 2. Now remember, the negative sign still sticks with 2. So let's multiply... Uh, all, the, all the denominators together. 1 times 1 times 1. So 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. So I don't need to write a fraction over 1. So we don't have to write that part. Now let's just worry about the top. So it's negative 5 times 2, but of course, don't forget that negative down there. So it's negative 5 times negative 2, which is positive 10. Which leaves me with positive 10 times negative 4. And then, of course, we look over here, a positive times a negative will give me a negative answer, so that's going to be negative 40. So remember, with fractions, cross-reduce early because it will make it a lot simpler. Now, let's say, for example, I didn't cross-reduce first. Take a look at this. So let's say I rewrite the problem. And let's say I didn't cross-reduce. Okay, that would give me negative 5 times negative 12 which is positive 60. Positive 60 times negative 4 is negative 240. Over 6 times 1 times 1 equals 6. So negative 240 over 6. Now, you can look at that and say, oh, I wouldn't know what that is. But some of you would say, that's too big. I wouldn't know how to do that. Um, so it makes it a lot easier if you reduce first, because actually this will simplify to negative 40, believe it or not. Uh, but you may not see that if you just multiply straight across and try to reduce later. So if you reduce at the beginning, it makes the problem a lot simpler.